What's up guys, this is Josh here. I wanted to do a, I don't know, I don't know what even to call this video. So I got the Harbor Freight 1x30 uh, belt sander. I bought it so I could do uh, for knife making and knife grinding. Uh, obviously I'm I'm starting up on it. This is just a uh, get up and go for me. Uh, I've got about six blades that I'm actually working on. But yeah, this guy is, uh, the, this one actually is my, uh, K-Bar inspired chef's knife, uh, but again, it's going to be an interesting piece, more belly to it, it's got a lot of belly to it, just like a German style, uh, a German style chef's knife, uh, but yeah, I was actually putting in, uh, I, honestly, I can't remember what that's called, my mind's going blank right now, but, uh, again, alright, I'm not here to talk about that knife, I'm here to talk about the 1x30 and why I don't like it for knife making, so I bought this thing thinking, I'm like, alright, this is what everybody says they start off with this thing. Why? Because it's cheap. The thing was what, $35? Uh, really, it's, it's, it's not that bad. You know? So why you're, you're probably going to be wondering, if you guys are trying to start up too, why, why not buy this machine? Why shouldn't you? I mean, my number one reason is it's actually quite difficult. It, there's a big learning curve on this thing. Very big. Uh, so much that I actually got frustrated stopped with that and went a completely different direction with the way I was actually making knives. But, for example, guys, put on your, you know, eye protection. You know, my wife calls it PPE, you know, personal protective equipment. Uh, I don't know how many people use that. Hell, heck, even in my shop I don't even use that term, but uh, apparently that's big in uh, a lot of other uh, industries. But, you're going to wonder, like, well, what's wrong with this thing? Why wouldn't it work? Uh, well, first off, I mean, you got to be very sensitive with this thing. I can easily gouge the blade if I'm not perfectly flat. It's going to take me a long time. It took me a very long time just to try not to gouge and get waves and just and even try to stay, you know, try to keep it flat on flat on the belt. But even for my bevels, I was having a hard time even with the bevels. So, well, my suggestion was that I went a completely different route. I'm very good at an angle grinder. So, this is going to show you what I thought was easier for me. So, I saw these uh, Harbor Freight uh, you know, uh, knife uh, holders, or tool holders, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I tested out with, uh, tested one. Watch this, I mean thing glues itself to this table. So I was like, all right, well, let's start with this. How am I going to keep this knife held down? How am I also going to keep it semi-flat? I mean, if I clamp it, the blade steel tends to bow wherever you place your clamp. So uh, I, I attempted to clamp and clamping was trouble. So then I was like, you know what, let me try one of these. Then I found out neither one of these are perfectly flat. Obviously, this is not meant to be a precision piece of equipment. So I ran a sander over it, you know, block, you know, block a sand just to try to level them out, get them even. But this is what I found was easier for me to operate. Uh, it's basically a car polisher. This is the wall car polisher pretty much. Very slow speed. This is nowhere in the same class as this 1x30. This is a very expensive piece of equipment. Obviously we're getting into the hundreds now, but still for the hundreds compared to, you know, this was, for me, I felt this was easier, but this thing is only, uh, let's see if I can get a zoom in on this. Where is it? Uh, 2300 RPM. Seriously, guys, that is slow. That is unbelievably slow. Uh, yeah, what is this other grinder running? I think it's uh, 9000 RPM or something. 10,000 RPM on this thing. Let's get that to focus. Come on, big guy. This is 10,000 RPM. This is a 4.5 inch angle grinder. Uh, standard Harbor, Harbor Freight issue, you know, paddle switch. But I originally tried starting with this, tried throwing on the speed control onto it to try to get the gear itself down just because I wanted slower speed. 10,000 was just way too fast. Uh, you could over temper, overheat a blade instantly. Again, do I care about overheating? Probably not yet. I have this blade, this knife hasn't even gone out for tempering yet. So I guess it really doesn't matter if I detemper it. But uh, again, once I actually got this guy dialed down low enough and slow enough to where it was use, usable, the motor didn't have enough juice to keep itself running. It would stall instantly. I mean, thing would just any type of pressure would just instantly stall it. So then I went back looking again. I'm 
I'm very comfortable with an angle grinder. I'm very good with one. Uh, it's just, it's part of my, it's the industry I'm from. I'm a metal worker. I've been running an angle grinder for the past, you know, geez, you know, 15 years now. So, this guy, 2300 RPM, goes nice and slow. What I was basically doing was starting at the butt of the knife, at the hilt. And as I'm making my passes, I could literally see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, same thing with this. Now for my bevel. My bevels, I was actually offsetting it, or I actually bring it over to an end. That way I have full use. Let's get this camera better in frame. Full grind from tip to to end. So pretty much I'm just starting on this end. Again, starting slow. I feel a very good control just because I do have this angle. So pretty much obviously this is flat. And I've been pick you know, you can control, I feel like I can control my degrees easier. So again, guys, this is basically, you know, this is the route I'm going. But again, this little thing, she stalls easily. Let's get this thing off. I really can't put the pressure I want on this thing to do to do what I want. Um, but this thing, I don't know if this one's still available. Uh, I know they do sell a lot of car polishers, that type of thing. Car polishers are meant to go slow. They're geared to go slow. Obviously, you don't want to burn the wax. You don't want to burn your clear coat. So it has to go slow. That I actually think is a good thumbs up in my case for you know obviously working on blades. Um, what I've seen also a lot of them is they have variable speed uh, triggers. This one is one speed, so it is geared for 2300 RPM. It's a 7 amp uh, uh, motor. This thing is pretty much unstoppable. It really is unstoppable. I have not been able to stop this thing or get even close to it. It's just pure raw power, and I, that's what I love about it. Guys, again, this is just showing you my crazy technique for doing grind bevels and angles. Uh, from here, I actually, uh, again, you're probably going to wonder why I'm with a, what is this, a 7 inch, uh, 7 or 9 inch uh, uh, polisher with a 4.5 inch disc. I'm using it just because I actually had other abrasives. These I got surplus from my shop. I got probably about three dozen, three dozen of these things. Uh, again, it's slow enough. I don't have to worry about these flying off at that 2300 RPM. This thing is actually made for, you know, you know 10,000 RPM, but... Uh, in certain cases, when, a lot of times when the Velcro starts failing, these things fl fire off across the room. Uh, but again, I could always buy different you know, P uh, PSI discs, uh, pads, and stuff like that. I could pretty much start stepping it down to whatever I want. Again, that's, and that's what I was, again, I'm basing this off of what I'm used to. Guys, thank you very much. If I, hopefully this was helpful for you. Uh, it's not, this is not a bad machine. It's a nice startup machine. I, there's definitely a use for it in my little shop. I mean, obviously, um, I can't, uh, I can't, you know, sand, the, as this thing's stuck to the table, I can't sand those ends as easily. It is e always easier to work on the table, you know, to do contours. So, obviously this thing is not, it's not horrible, but for general grinding, I prefer the angle grinder. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Please, give me a thumbs up if this was helpful.